Can't nobody rush me. Got a baby with me, what's your problem? No, it literally says it's 100 degrees outside. What's up, everybody? Uh, since being pregnant, I have noticed a change in my mood. Where there was a very small filter before, the filter's nearly gone, okay? It's nearly gone. Now, I'm not like a road rage yeller, you know? Like, I'm not like, well, first of all, I'm not like cursing people out or like, you know, I, let's get that straight for one second. Praise the Lord. I don't think I'm an, a very aggressive driver. I would definitely put myself more on the grandma scale of driving than anything else and my husband would probably agree however your girl's not afraid to use the horn i believe the car horn was invented to uh warn people and i use it for that at times a little beep beep boop boop pop pop but i'm also guilty of using the horn to yell at someone and I really truly think this is one of the biggest changes that I've noticed since being pregnant. I use my car horn to yell at people a lot more than I used to. Is that like the mama bear coming out of me like, I got a baby with me, what's your problem? Or is it just my hormones or is it both? Like, you know, comment down below, what do you think? Am I crazy? Maybe. <laughs> but recently it happened when I was on my way home from work and after it happened, I thought, dang, I kind of feel bad, a little bit, sort of. So let me play out the scenario. So I'm coming up to an intersection. There's like two intersections before you get on the freeway. And it's backed up because everybody's trying to get over in these lanes to get on the freeway, right? So it's backed up and uh, the light turns green and I start to go because the car in front of me starts to move. However, a car in the left lane just skirts their little nose in front of me without no kind of turn signal, no kind of warning, nothing as I'm driving. The fury of the father arose in my heart. Okay, maybe I'm being like too spiritual and it's not being funny at all, but like seriously, I was pissed. He could have died. I, I, like my, my body is right by their car and they just skirt their little nose. You could have hit me. <laughs> I am not playing y'all. I honked so long. Like the long, like like you know she's mad because she not letting up on that horn that's how i honked at this person and while i stand by honking at them i probably shouldn't have done it so aggressively and then the bigger issue is that i realized the the backup was happening because a car had stalled in the lane to the left of me and I mean that person I'm still upset that that person did that because they they should have like used their turn signal and inched their way into the lane instead of just screw like no we don't do that but I felt so bad because I honked my horn so good and long like I went through the intersection still honking my horn <laughs> And I realized, oh my god, what if the person that stalled thinks I'm honking at them? <laughs> oh, the poor precious child of God that was just already having a bad day. I might have made it worse. Last week on my way to work, I was in the right turn lane at an intersection. The light was red, but I could turn right on red. It was fine. But there were cars coming, y'all. Like, I was looking. I was paying attention. I was not on my phone, okay? I was driving. I was alert. And I had my turn signal on, so they knew I was about to turn. And the person behind me started beeping at me. I thought, what? What are you beeping at? Like, is my trunk open? Is my gas thing open? Like, are you trying to alert me or something? And I realized after about the third beep, oh, this guy wants me to hurry up. K. 
can't nobody rush me. So cars just kept coming, so I couldn't turn yet. And this guy just kept honking at me. Bet, 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 bet. So you know what I did? I honked back at him. Bet, 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 bet. I'm not going nowhere because cars are still coming. It's not my fault you finna be late to work. That's your fault. And then I, I turned when it was clear and I just kept driving at my own pace. And this man just, you know, around me and let, let me know that he was upset with me. I don't know where you think you're going because it's another red light right up here, sir. So what do you guys think? Can you relate to these stories at all? Do you use your car horn? Do you not use your car horn? When people honk at you, does it make you nervous? Um, you know, there have been times where the horn has helped me. Like, I've made a mistake. Somebody let me know. I'm like, oh, my bad, you know. It's helped me. I don't know. What would Jesus do? Help me out. Turn the other cheek. Let somebody hit me. Put my life in danger. I mean, Jesus did all that, but like, I don't think he wants me to do that. I got, I got a, I got a baby. Mary, did you know? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you, bye.